السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته dear CEA 116 student this is another tutorial as a continuation for the explanation that we started about module 3 conditional statements so in this exam in this tutorial we're gonna solve together an example <coughs> sorry uh, an example using if statement or if else statements so you can follow up with me or uh, basically you can <coughs> watch the video sorry and then practice yourself so I'm gonna start by opening the Python IDLE so this is Python IDLE I'm gonna decrease it this okay we're gonna see here the results of the execution and then <coughs> sorry again I don't know what's wrong with my voice I'm gonna create a new file and in this file we are gonna create uh, our or solve our example <coughs> first of all sorry again first of all we uh, we need to know the scenario what we are gonna do um, basically we need to ask the user to enter a grade so um, ask the user to enter a mark or grade then print the grade as follows based on the following rules the if the mark is bet between 90 or the if the mark from 90 to 100 this is going to be an A or we are going to make it like this A is going to be between 90 to 100 B is going to be between 80 to 98 C is going to be between 70 to 70 or 9, 89 sorry not 98 79 and D it's going to be from 60 to 69 <coughs> sorry and F it's going to be less than 50 or less than uh, 60 okay there's a grading that we use here this is an example you can use any other grading that you want so in this example we are going to use um, as we will see complex condition condition that include and and or <coughs> or or so we're gonna go back to the Python file here I'm gonna go file save I'm gonna save it first I will go to my documents Python exercises and this is gonna be if else great example <coughs> okay so what we're gonna start first thing we need to ask the user to enter a mark so we need to enter a grade which is going to be M or X or anything M equals input sorry input please enter your mark okay and since as we said input is going to return a, a flow sorry a string we need to change it to an integer or float in this case because your mark could be float not necessarily an integer number I'm gonna leave spaces so you just know that we have this input inside sorry we have this input inside the the float function <coughs> to cast data to convert to a float data type and then we are gonna do our F statements so we're gonna write F and the condition is gonna be F M greater than 90 <coughs> now for the first time we use and m less than 100 greater than or equal 90 to be more to be better to be to be correct and less than or equal 100 it's going to be <coughs> a so now we used and why we used and because we need to join two conditions when we using and these two conditions must be true in order for the result to be true I'm gonna talk about and and or after the at the end of this example so after this condition we're gonna write print your grade is and then comma <coughs> okay well, there is no comma here is a <coughs> I'm gonna show you if we want to, to store the grade in a variable later on so if this condition is true we're gonna write a <coughs> so 
sorry, I have some issues with my voice today. I apologize. And then we are going to go to the else if. So lf, another condition, I'm going to copy paste those two statements to avoid retyping them again. lf, if m is greater than or equal 80, but, or and less than or equal, yeah, we can less than or equal 89, this is going to be b, right? And then lf, if the grade is greater than or equal 70, less than or equal 79, this is going to be C, as you can see here, okay? We are using else if or LF because if the first condition is not true, we are going to test the second one. If it's not true, we are going to test the third one and so on, okay? And then LF, again, again, another paste, this is going to be 69 and this is going to be 60, A, B, C, D, okay? And last one, LF, we're going to have to paste it, no space. You see the color changes because now it's it's, go, it's greater than or equal 0 or less than or equal 59. You might, th you might say, why you didn't put else? <coughs> because else we are going to leave it for the values more than 100, less than 0. Because at, that, at this case, or that case, this is going to be considered... Uh, invalid input. The user should enter it again. There's, there's going to be no grade with it. So F is between 0 and 95 or 59, sorry. Now the else, if the values are with, not within any of the ranges from 0 to 90, then we're going to print your <coughs> sorry input is invalid or it's much better to write invalid oops sorry invalid input we compile exclamation mark and that's it <coughs> we can do a print before or after that if you want or you can nothing just leave it I'm gonna print just to show you that after executing if you're gonna have the print thank you okay <coughs> control s now let's try it i'm gonna minimize this notepad and i'm gonna try <coughs> f5 let's now enter uh, an invalid input and see what's gonna happen so if i enter 914941 invalid input thank you why it's invalid input is this true no we're going to come here. True? No. 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 When the answer is yes, we are going to run the print and quit all these, all the block, all the if statement. Then no, then we go back to the else, go to the else, sorry, and we write input or we see input invalid or invalid input. Okay. <coughs> Another try. Run. So the mark is going to be, I hope you get this mark or higher out of you. It's going to be your grade is A because you see only A is printed thank you directly if this is true we are going to ignore all the remaining LF and else statements okay let's give another another try now what if you entered let's say 70 <coughs> enter this is going to be C because false we're going to come here false we're going to move to this this is true we're going to write the grade is C and then we ignore the rest and we print thank you this was a very a very simple example to demonstrate the use of fl statement okay i uh, hope you it i hope you, it was very clear it was clear for you you need to watch the video please don't hesitate asking me anything you want using your team channel okay before we end we said we, we need to know the difference between AND and OR. So basically AND and OR is going to combine logical conditions together. So I'm going to go back to the, to the print here and I'm going to show you what I mean. So you're going to have, for example, <coughs> one side, side one and side two. So this condition, condition it's either true or false. So if the condition is true, both of them true, 
the result is going to be true okay again <clears throat> we have the and is going to combine two expressions or more but let's now talk about two if both of them true it's going to be true if any one of them false the result is going to be false if both of them false the result will be false as well so in order for the result to be true both sides of the and should be true and this is the case here for the grade to be an A it should be less than or equal 100 greater than or equal 90 not only greater than or equal 90 okay however if I do the or <coughs> what's going to be the difference or the difference when using or true or true 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 or false true also false or true this is going to be true again okay so for the result to be false both sides should be false okay this is why we didn't use and again remember these tables they are going to be available in the video you can pause the video write them down remember them memorize them okay so if I write here or I'm telling Python if the mark greater than or equal 90 or less than or equal 100 this is going to be true any one of them true true so it's going to be is this going to be correct for sure no because you see here when I enter 120 I'm going to get mark A because 120 is greater than 90 even though this is false true or false true one more time what if I enter 50 or let's say 45 which is which should be F enter it's going to be also A why because it is not greater than or equal 90 it's right this is false but what about this it's less than 100 right yep less than 100 then it's true true or false true so you cannot use or this case you have to use and so in other words if you want both conditions to be true in order to run an instruct run a, a statement you have to put and if it's okay with you either one will be true then you can write or okay so it depends on the scenario there is no wrong and wrong right about that it depends on the scenario we are gonna say wrong and right so for this scenario you cannot use or as you can see here this is gonna be um, a wrong output and as you can see here there is no error there is no syntax error okay there is no syntax error and I, I remember I told you this in the lecture in, in programming languages we have two types of errors I'm gonna delete this because you can't have them there is something called syntax error where like what where you write for example print you open and you forget to close the parenthesis or you forget to close this this is going to be syntax error or you write the print by mistake like this or you write the print with capital letter or anything anything that is not recognized by the by the programming grammar however uh, the logical error on the other hand is harder to identify because it is not gonna the, the program will not stop the execution it's okay just like this you see nothing happened we executed but the result is wrong so you're gonna have unexpected output why it's harder than syntax because syntax the program or the interpreter will tell you what's wrong undefined number you cannot use integer with string some kind of errors any kind of error sorry but with logical error the interpreter will not tell you anything you're gonna just have unexpected results just like this how come 45 is a and you ha and you need to find out why then you need you, you will notice that this is not an or it should be an and okay so that's it for this tutorial thank you very much and we see you in the next tutorial inshallah